Okay, part two. As you can see, the paintings have been picked up, painting or paintings have been picked up. And I, I'm Beck Lane, this is Studio 120. This is part two of painting going to be restretched. The painting going to be restretched uh, uh, series or something rather. Anyway, uh, Brittany, the owner of Blue Door, in Sarasota. It's a framing company. She is the new owner. She's owned it for about a year. The woman who owned it before her, her name was Jessica, had a great reputation. Um, I don't know Brittany. I never met Jessica. I know that both of them have a really good reputation in town. I kind of forgot about them because I had my heart set on my Andy coming down and spending time with me and restretching that and building and doing all the stuff. And unfortunately, he couldn't get down here for three weeks. So we had to find a plan B and hopefully we found a really good plan B. And it seems that way. I honestly haven't worked with a lot of, haven't had a lot of my stuff restretched. Uh, if I've had it restretched, it, it's only been restretched by people I know and trust. I, again, I don't know Brittany, Andy, I know. I know his abilities. So we've kind of had to throw caution to the wind. But, and here's the thing. She walked in, we looked at the paintings. I explained how much they cost and how incredibly important they are right now to not only me, but my gallery, Blue Egg, who has sold it. We took the paintings and turned them around. And I showed her the issues that the painting is having, uh, the canvas is having. And then we found a spider, so uh, I screamed like, you know, like a girl and ran around and we had her take it outside and she got Mr. Spider out of there. But anyway, I showed her some of the issues and what needs to be taken care of. And then I started asking her questions because I really wanted to feel her out. And I want to give you this as an example if you have to have work restretched. Um, I showed her where the canvas had torn away from the staples and there's really minimal amount of space to play with. Now, in pricing my paintings, we included in the, the overall price of the paintings are the edges. Let me grab a painting and I'll show you what I mean. Just in case you haven't seen this before. I've been actually tearing through all the art, uh, all the paintings that I've produced, and I've been doing my magic, doing my work on the edges, applying aerosol and then applying glazes in different colors so that the painting is framed, but not framed. So there'll be color without overtaking the painting. And I'm not, I'm, wait a minute, I'll be right back. Put that down. So it's an extension of the painting without being that obvious extension of the painting that I find really lazy and silly and annoying. So we've got this frame without it being a frame. Uh, when the viewer is on the side, they've got color. It helps to actually enhance the front of the piece, uh, the front of the painting rather. And for me as a painter, once I've done the edges, and I come back and I look at the front, I go, okay, I see ways to where I could uh, improve the image or make it pop or what, however you want to say it. It just helps me to be more engaged with the painting and I'm assuming the viewer as well. Well, we were talking about that because that, that edging takes time. It takes material, it takes time. And it is unique to me. It is part of my signature, as I said to Brittany. Uh, the shapes, the colors, uh, the glaze I use, it's, it's, part, it's part of the painting, it's part of my signature. And so we charge for it. We charge for it. We charge per square inch. None of my paintings go out of here without that edging anymore. So, haven't for years. But I was explaining to her how important it is that we have that canvas. Because she's like, well, I can stretch this background. I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, I need that. The customer is paying for it. The collector is paying for it. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. And she went into, um, explained to me how she would do it. She was like, oh yeah, okay, I can do that. That's really easy. I can take archival glue 
and canvas and glue them together. It might take a day or two extra, but we'll get it all stretched around. And she was explaining to me in a calm, professional manner. Um, I've worked with a, <laughs> that was probably a rude and condescending way to put it, but I've worked with people who think they know what they're doing and then it turns out they don't and they've ruined the project. And I said, this is, this has got to be right. And she's like, I completely understand. And she explained to me her work history, who she's, who she's done work, some of the people she's done work for, um, and her experiences. And so I feel really comfortable in handing this project over to her. I'm still sad I won't be able to hug Andy for a little bit, but um, I, I, I believe we have found a good person here at Blue Door in Sarasota. So it's gone now, she gone. She's going to Blue Door. And I said, I'll probably pop in in a day or two just to take a peek, because I've never been in this business before. I know the reputation um, and they have a great reputation. So we'll see, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, but I, I have, I actually feel, um, This was serendipitous in a way. My Andy will still be coming down because he's my Andy and I have to have him and I have to utilize his abilities as someone who can make and stretch canvases, but also um, I have things coming up that are gonna help to foster and nurture him as an artist, which is extremely important to me that we take people who have been kind to us and patient with us and um, just always been supportive, supportive in any way, that, in the best ways they can or in any way they can. And we say here, here. We extend that opportunity to them as well and we help them as best we can. So uh, my Andy will be coming at some point in time, hopefully within the month. And uh, we'll see what happens there. But in the meantime, making a way out of no way is going to be restretched and feeling really good. So if you're going to have work, keep this in mind. If you're going to have feeling really good about this, but so keep in mind, if you're having work restretched to ask questions. And she got that when I asked her about the, the canvas and explained how important it is. She got that look on her face that I recognize. When people ask me about paintings, I know my eyes kind of go off into another universe and I'm talking my technical stuff and I saw it in her eyes and it, and it, it reassured me to no end that I've got somebody. Uh, that's fantastic. So, yeah, Brittany and the spider have gone off, and I'm going to drink coffee, take a shower, and I'm going to go roller skating. I did last night, and it went really, really well, so I'm going to go again today. All right, that's it. So ask important questions, but keep your Andes close. Keep your Andes close. Where's my heart? Oh, yeah. Keep your Andes close. Keep your Andes close. All right, ciao. Ciao. Mirror, 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 boink.